this one secret can help you save up to 80% of your cloud bill. What's up everybody, my name is Arpit and welcome to GCP Live, the channel where we uncover Google Cloud secrets. We are in a very unique, unprecedented time right now where the C-suite priorities are changing. I have been talking to a lot of CEOs lately and almost everybody has told me that their priorities are shifting from revenue growth to saving money. In this unique time of recession and pandemic and possibly even going into a depression, a lot of C-suite have told me that they want to preserve as much cash as they can to help them sail through this uncertain period. Everybody's trying to cut costs in all areas of their business and IT is no different, especially for digital native companies where the IT spend might be in multi-millions of dollars. Cloud consumption is one of those areas where the CTOs and the CIOs have been tasked to optimize and save as much as they can. And we're going to talk about the seven secrets, the tools and tips and tricks and discounts that Google Cloud provides that will help you save money on your cloud consumption. So let's get straight into it. The first secret that I'm going to talk about is by using custom machine types. A lot of the companies are in the habit of just creating generic machine types, which are N1 standard one, N1 standard two, high memory, high CPU, whatever are the predefined templates, because that's what everybody's used to. If you're coming from any other cloud provider, that's what you're used to. Even on GCP, when you get started, it's a tendency to choose the standard machine type and go with it. But what you can do is you can actually monitor your consumption and see if the machine type that you're using is right for you. So if you realize that, no, I don't need 64 gigs of RAM with this machine, only 60 gigs of RAM is enough for me. You don't have to pay for that extra 4 GB of RAM. You have full flexibility in tuning your machine types based on your actual workload and not stick to one of the predefined templates. This will cut corners and this will help you save on a lot of your computer, especially if you're running a large cluster of virtual machines. The second secret is right sizing recommendation. Now, a lot of people might not know it, but Google Cloud actually recommends you to save money. So you remember how in the previous secret, I told you how you can use custom machine types. Google Cloud actually tells you that you have probably over provisioned for a particular workload. So if Google Cloud provides a virtual machine where you might have provisioned more resources than you're utilizing in the last 15 to 20 days, Google Cloud will give you something called as right sizing recommendation in the cloud console. And it will recommend you to right size those VMs to a lower configuration. It will also suggest a configuration. And then you can do that by the click of a button. You don't even have to go and do it manually. You can just by the click of a button, you can right size your VM and save costs right there. Secret number three. Per second billing, pay for what you use. If you're coming from an on-premise data center, this is gonna be huge for you. You don't really have to invest a lot in servers, especially when you're increasing capacity. Think about instead of paying for the entire server in this time, what if you could pay for only the consumption and you pay for each second as you consume. You don't really have to pay for the entire server at once. So you can just pay for whatever consumption you have. So this is the third secret where you can basically get into an OPEX model than a CAPEX model and save a lot of money right now and then consume your compute as you go in a long run. Secret number four, preemptible VMs. Now this one is my favorite. This one secret can help you save up to 80% of your cloud bill. Preemptible VMs are excess capacity that Google Cloud has that it leases out to you for much cheaper than a regular VM. And now there are caveats, of course. The first one being these resources can be provisioned for a maximum of 24 hours. And the second important one being Google Cloud can pull the plug on these resources with just a 30 second warning. So if you have workloads that you think you can manage within those constraints, this is an excellent tool to leverage. Some of the areas where companies that I have worked with have leveraged preemptible VMs is if you're designing a bad job that can easily be restarted and there is not a lot of impact. If the first iteration dies, you can always restart it and finish your job on time. The other 
potential scenario is where you can easily transfer your workload to another instance if Google gives you a 30 second warning on this one. So this is an excellent tool. Some of the people that I work with have saved 60, 70, or even 80% of their cloud consumption by leveraging just this one secret. I would say definitely check this out. This is definitely worth it. Secret number five, leverage cloud TPUs for machine learning. TPUs are custom hardware accelerators that Google has built and made available through their cloud platform to help you speed up and save costs on certain machine learning and deep learning use cases. GPUs are great hardware accelerators, but they were designed for graphic processing. TPUs are purposely designed for machine learning and deep learning, so they are highly optimized on deep learning, highly optimized for TensorFlow. So if you're running a TensorFlow based machine learning or deep learning models, definitely leverage TPUs. I've got some numbers here, and this is an experiment by Martin Garner. He's a Googler. He published this in his presentation, and I'm taking it from there. Uh, he ran an experiment where he trained a computer vision model, an object detection model to detect airplanes in a satellite image of an airport. And this model with a similar amount of accuracy and a uh, number of iteration took much larger time on a p100 or a v100 gpu than a tpu you can say that you can see that the training time on a gpu was five and a half hours to six hours but on tpu it was about an hour and the cost also was reduced by more than half that's the power of using a custom built chip that has been purposely designed for machine learning so if you're training a complicated machine learning or deep learning model definitely leverage tpus to save costs on your machine learning training. Secret number six, sustained use discount. And this is a discount that Google gives you automatically even without asking. If you're using a machine for more than 50% of the times, the discount kicks in, it starts at 10%. And then if you're using it for more than 75% of the time, the Google gives you a 20% discount. And then if you're using the machine, 100% of the time in the month, Google will automatically give you up till 30% of the discount for that increment. Overall, your discount will be almost 21% across the month if you're using that machine for the entire month. So if you're running a machine continuously, you're probably already getting it, but not aware. All right, next secret, secret number seven, committed use discount. So similar to sustained use discount, committed use discount is something that Google provides for long running instances. You can commit to a certain amount of compute and memory consumption and buy committed use directly from the cloud console. This is slightly different than reserved instances that many of you might already know because you don't have to commit to a machine type. You only have to commit to the certain amount of compute and memory consumption and then you can provision any number of and any size of any combination of machine types that you want to build till the time you're consuming those memory and CPU quotas that you have pre-purchased, you will get almost up to 57% discounts. So these were the seven secrets, the tips and tricks, the tools that will help you save money on Google Cloud during these uncertain times. Let me know in the comments if you think these are useful. And for those of you who are here with me in this video till now, I have one more bonus trick. And this is the secret number eight. And this is to leverage offline commit contracts. So if you're a large corporate or enterprise and are spending millions of dollars on cloud consumption, you can actually get into a multi-year commit contract deal with Google Cloud to leverage anywhere between 5% to 15% discount. So here is a pro tip. The easiest way to leverage a commit contract or any other secret that I talked about today really is to work through a Google Cloud Premier Partner. One such partner is Media Agility that I work with. I will highly recommend that if you think that you can save some costs by leveraging any of these secrets, or if you think your consumption is big enough that you want to get into a multi-year commit contract, definitely, definitely get in touch with me, find me on LinkedIn, send me a message, and we can work together and help you save some money on Google Cloud. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments if you think this was useful. Please like the video.